Hello, and welcome to another great CY visual effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I am gonna show you some basics about After Effects. Keyframes, Solids, and Masking. First, many people make gameplay commentaries, and they have their face on the corner. I will show you how to make your own, and also the main idea of how to use keyframes. I've got a Modern Warfare 3 gameplay from CY Gaming Montages, and for the face, I've got PSI. You can resize the picture or the video using this method, but it's not accurate. The most accurate way is to click on the picture or the video on your timeline, hit S or Transform, Scale and drag the scale left or right, to scale it up and down. Now position it where you want it, and that's it. Now you will say a quick way to animate it. If the video fits the project resolution perfectly, right click, transform, and fit to composition. If not, just scale it up. To animate, go to scale, and hit the stopwatch icon next to it. This way you create a keyframe. Now go where you want the animation to end, and scale the video down. After creating the first keyframe, changing any value on scale. After Effects will automatically create a new keyframe. Now play. This is how to animate. In any program, After Effects, Sony Vegas, 3DS Max, Maya, Blender, in any program you can animate, animation is based on keyframes. This is the main idea of keyframes. Now make another animation for position in the same way. You can make the animation smoother by selecting the keyframes, click the graph editor, select everything you see and click the easy ease button. Do the same for position. Now the animation starts and ends smoothly. Now I will show you what the masks are and where you can use them. To begin, select the video and select the pen tool. Drag around a shape you want to mask out. I will mask really quickly now, but masking must be done as accurate as possible.
Now you see that the background behind the gun has disappeared. This is masking. You can smooth out the edges of the mask, by going to Video, Masks, go to your mask, and set the mask feather to about 1, 2 or 3. Masking is usually used to rotoscope, a method which you can use to add something like an effect behind an object. It's easier to be used in stable videos, because the mask is only for one single frame. If your video is moving, you have to go frame by frame and mask it out. Now I will show where solids are used, and how to rotoscope. To make a new solid, simply hit Ctrl Y, or go to Layer, New, Solid. One use of solid objects, is to apply plugins on them, like Video Copilot's Element, Optical Flares, and Trap Code Particular. The solid just turns into an effect. As I said, another use of the solids are rotoscoping. To rotoscope, hide your solid. Grab the pen tool, have the solid selected, and mask your object you want. Please note that the red solid is only for testing. To make rotoscope work, select the solid and apply the alpha TRK mat. You can see that the background is disappeared. You can add anything you want for background. Again, this is for one frame only. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to rate and subscribe to stay tuned. Next week's video will be about motion tracking. Have a nice day.